Welcome back viewers. In today's video, we are going to check out the Garuda KDE Lite desktop. So the Garuda developers have developed this KDE Lite desktop. It is very light. It has got minimal number of applications and that is the USB of this KDE Lite desktop. So you can build upon the desktop like you want. So you, you can just install only the applications you are going to use. There will be no other applications on the desktop and the desktop will run very light. And the resource uh, usage will be also very light so you can use this light desktop for some very strenuous uh, activity for example you can use it to uh, create content so only the content creation applications you can install on this KDE light desktop no other applications so all the resources will be available for your video editor your uh, OBS studio and there won't be any uh, latency issues because uh, the CPU and the RAM and other memory uh, resources are always available for your content creation application. So let us start. We have installed this Garuda KDE Lite desktop with MS-DOS partitions, uh, swap with Hibernate, full Lux encryption, ButterFS is there with the JAD standard compression. RAM, uh, RAM uses the JAD RAM compression and the Auto snapshots have been enabled by default. So this is the feature of Garuda Linux. All the desktops come with ButterFS file system as default with Z standard and the ZRAM compression and auto snapshots. So here you have to give your uh, encryption path three. So this will decrypt the hard drive. So this is a layer of security. Suppose what happens is, uh, if your la laptop or the uh, laptop gets uh, or tablet gets uh, stolen, the thief cannot get into your hard disk and steal your data. So this is the greater screen of the KDE Lite desktop in Garuda Linux. So it is pretty straightforward greater screen. We all know uh, of this greater screen. We have used this many times. So we will just log in into the system. So the standard uh, splash screen is there from the KDE organization. It is just bare bones desktop, nothing extra is there, no fla flashy uh, splash screens, no uh, tons of application, nothing is there, very minimal. Now this Garuda assistant is coming up on the screen. You have to say first OK and then it will bring up the Garuda assi assistant applications on the screen. You can see it here. This, uh, I think it is telling us to input the password so that it can do the updates yes so here you, it is syncing the repositories so i will not do uh, go into details because uh, we want to focus on the desktop first and the, all these uh, different uh, garuda utilities or tools we will do separate videos on each of them because they deserve a separate video because one video i cannot show you all the utilities there are a lot of utilities So we'll just uh, close this and you can see here the key rings have been successfully updated and this is the Garuda welcome app. So the setup assistant is uh, gone and now we are greeted with the Garuda welcome app. So here you can see all the Garuda uh, tools that we have seen in other desktops is also available here. Lot of uh, tools are there. We will just open the partition manager. I will show you the partitions okay so there is some update to the g part so anyway we have to install this okay so what is happening is syncing okay so again we'll have to give the password 
so now you, you can see here uh, we have just uh, updated the g part uh, g so now system is telling us partial upgrade was detected so you had done a partial upgrade please fully update so we will not do it because we want to focus on the desktop only so here you can see the complete uh, i will just enlarge this so the complete uh, hard drive has been encrypted you see all the system partitions are encrypted only unallocated space that is 7.52 MB is uh, not encrypted rest everything is encrypted even the boot has been en encrypted so this ensures a high degree of security for the system because in some of the Linux distributions only there is way to encrypt the home, home folder in some others only the root folder uh, gets encrypted but here in Garuda Linux complete hard disk is encrypted so this is uh, we can say enterprise level uh, security is available in Garuda Linux so this kind of security is available in Windows so if you take uh, buy a commercial Windows laptop many of the laptops will come with such security complete hard disk is en uh, encrypted add one Lenovo tablet I bought in 2018 uh, it was EMC storage but still it got the full security uh, encryption so I had to input the passphrase every time and it had got uh, the T uh, this TPM was also there then uh, secure boot was there so it was completely uh, very secure just uh, 18,000 rupees laptop had all these security features so I was also astonished to see such a security features because all the security cost money but still Lenovo had provided me in this tablet so it was just 18,000 rupees tablet and it had got all this security it was it came with a Atom X5 processor uh, I think 32 bit uh, EMMC storage and 2 GB RAM but it had got all the security in the world that was available for the uh, desktops and laptops so everything was there TPM secure boot full encryption there was free uh, McAfee security was there everything was there it was fully loaded okay so now we will come back to the desktop we will not go through this we will uh, do it in a separate video so the standard panel is there the KDE panel is there the application launcher is there security, uh, this uh, system settings are there you can see it here the uh, discover uh, desktop app is there so this is the software store unknown application folder so software store i think it is disabled or what i don't know then the dolphin file manager is there and the micro text editor which works with terminal is there this is the updater garuda system maintenance volume control network manager the status and notifications area the calendar is there and the minimize all windows is there so what we will do is first we will check out the applications in development you can see the qt uh, designer apps qt assistant qt linguist qt debug viewer user feedback console the micro text editor icon browser are there in internet only the hawaii ssh and the vnc server browser are there there are no uh, browsers provided no not not the fire dragon not the firefox not opera uh, not brevo no uh, browser is uh, provided in multimedia also only the video test utilities are there there is no audio player video player nothing is there in system settings garuda settings manager and the kd system settings are there along with the yard settings so this is yard is for the making the simple gui uh, we to run your uh, background applications like scripts so you can have a, a simple way to run the scripts so you just click on some buttons and the script will run so that kind of things can be developed here it is basically a tool to develop simple uh, content for your applications and the system is there so here in system you can see here the different uh, Garuda applications can be seen along with the your KDE applications let, let us open at stop 1 GB of RAM is being used only 50 tasks are running 365 threads 
it is quite light and uh, in the CPU usage you can see here is around uh, yes below 4.6 percent so definitely it is not that much light because we don't see the different applications but I think the system applications are using uh, the resources so it is not light in working but uh, it is not loaded with any applications either you can see here snapper tools everything is there reflector is there space is there all applications from garuda are there and in utilities emoji selector arc and micro editor so most of the kd applications are not there most of the generally used uh, user applications like the office suite is not there image viewers document viewers text editors nothing is there only one text editor that is micro is provided rest other is not available and archiving tool arc is there so everything has been removed it is bare bones you can install the application that you wish to install so this is good for content creators because you see the base of the system comes with the z standard and zram compression butterfs is there auto snapshots are there the kernel is zen so it comes with the zen kernel by default so it is very uh, we can say low latency system so you can uh, install the video and audio editing apps recording apps and then you can do your uh, uh, content creation sessions and uh, the system will won't come between you and the apps so all your uh, recordings will be done without any latency and you will get a good output and then you can uh, upload your content to the different social media using this uh, desktop so it is very good for the content creators i might use this uh, in some later i tried the gnome desktop because the garuda has some very good uh, uh, default configs for the content creation but there was an issue with this gnome desktop so i had to remove it and go back to debian but uh, in my heart still there is a space for this garuda linux because it is very beautifully they have designed the system Maybe later on I will uh, go back to Garuda again. Now let us open the KDE system settings. So the two themes dark and uh, so this dark theme let us apply. Yes, so dark theme is getting applied. You can see and change the wallpaper. Let us see some wallpapers are there or just yes. So here you can see both. Uh, the KDE wallpapers as well as the Garuda wallpapers are there. So let us apply some Garuda wallpapers and check out how it uh, system will look beautiful. It looks stunning with this dark theme. This one also looks very stunning. Yes, this this I might keep. Let us try out something great. This one should look nice. Yes, this is also good, but not that great. Still okay. This is a windmill. Yes, this also looks very out of the way wallpaper. Garuda Linux Raptor. So the present version of the Garuda that we are testing is the Garuda Linux Raptor, Raptor series or the Raptor release. This one also looks very nice. This one is also okay. -ish. I think this is uh, what Uranus or Neptune, maybe. This one is okay. Ah, it is Shani, Saturn. It is Saturn. It is written. It is Saturn. This one, yes. This looks uh, very nice. This one is the KD wallpaper. So that's it. The wallpapers are good. So I think I will go back to the one wallpaper I had installed where it is. This one, yes. This one looks very stunning. Yes, 
now in the wind uh, this uh, desktop effects let us see okay sorry that is available but we will go appear section yes so we will check out the application styles the the application size uh, styles are there in plasma styles you can see here i are there phi are there the garuda style is not there or the sweet kd that we have seen in the dragon age edition the sweet kd themes those themes are not there please yeah. so this desktop is for those who don't like the dragon age edition people some people will not prefer that theming so for those this uh, kd desktop will uh, work so two window decoration plastic and breeze are given so you of course you can go and get more window decorations so this is the desktop kd desktop meant for the lovers uh, garuda lovers who like garuda but they don't like the garuda theming they can do their own theming using this bare bones kd light desktop so they can do whatever they please with this desktop and they they did not go compulsorily with the dragonized edition many people will not like that sweet kd theme it is not everybody's choice so this desktop is for those people also so i think with this uh, i think we should uh, stop here we have checked out the garuda light desktop nothing much is there to uh, check because it is a bare bones desktop and the garuda tools and utilities we will check out in separate videos i will do a series of videos just like i did in the endeavor os because endeavor also uh, endeavor os also there are a lot of uh, this kind of tools are there for the user so garuda also has them garuda has more, some more tools than endeavor os so we will make a video i think five six videos will be there and then we will move on to the next uh, linux distribution maybe we will go with both linux or let us see what happen. there are two or three Linux distributions in my mind. I will choose one, and then we can do the other two later on. So on that note, I will stop the video here. See you in the next video. Bye bye.